Addressing the topic on so many minds, last night police chiefs from all seven cities gathered together in Norfolk for a roundtable discussion on gun violence in Hampton Roads. Our very own Dan Kennedy and Janet Roach led the talks with questions from the community. So how is the 757 handling the summer spike in crime? Our Ann Sparacco joins us now live from downtown Norfolk with more on last night's discussion and this was an interesting one to watch. Oh yes, Bethany, Ashley, that's for sure. It really was an eye-opening discussion with our 13 News Now crew last night. Police chiefs from across all seven cities really opened up about the ongoing gun violence in Hampton Roads and exactly how they are planning to address this issue. So far in 2021, dozens of people have been shot throughout the seven cities. 23 of those people were shot in the month of July alone. That's an unusually high number there. A question on many viewers' minds was, where are people, especially young teens, accessing these guns? Norfolk City Police Chief Larry Boone says part of the problem is more people are stealing guns and fewer people are reporting when those guns are stolen in the first place. And when it comes to the driving force behind this spike in violence, this is what Chief Boone had to say. We address crime in our city from a gang perspective because that's what drives crime in Hampton Roads. I don't care where you live. That's what drives crime. If you see the same uh, kind of acts, the same type of shootings in Chesapeake or Hampton or Virginia Beach, well, guess what? Eight times out of the 10, that's gang driven. And of course, if you missed our special report, you can watch it all on our YouTube channel for 13 News Now. So let's toss it back to Bethany in the studio with more on what you can expect this evening. Bethany.